हेलो माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर अजय कलमदार आई एम प्रोफेसर एट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग माई स्पेशलाइजेशन इज एनवायरमेंटल इंजीनियरिंग एंड ऑल्सो आई एम वर्किंग ऑन म्यूनसिपल सॉलिड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट एंड ऑल्सो द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ वेस्ट विच मोस्टली जनरेटेड इन द नॉर्थ ईस्ट एरिया बिकॉज एज यू नो द नॉर्थ ईस्ट एरिया इज नोन फॉर बायोडाइवर्सिटी एंड ऑल तो अलॉन्ग विथ दिस बायोडाइवर्सिटी देर आर ह्यूज प्रॉब्लम्स अबाउट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ रेसिड्यूज आर गेटिंग जनरेटेड लाइक वॉटर आइसिन मेनी मोर टेरेस्ट्रियल वीड इवन सम ऑफ द वीड्स आर हाईली टॉक्सिक इन नेचर and uh, they harm entire the environment so what we used to do at our solid waste management laboratory at iit guwahati we are all collecting this waste uh, those are toxic in nature but not directly dermally but uh, uh, so that we are able to collect those kind of waste in the our solid waste laboratory and we are treating as an composting method there is a new novel technology known rotridum composting which very fast technology which uh, normally the thermophilic condition in during the conventional process it required 7 to 8 days or even 15 days but in the rotary dam composting process it reaches in 6 hr 8 hr one of the fastest technology and within 7 days we are able to convert that into into a primary stabilized material which uh, all the heat and everything is getting out temperature reaches in that particular reactor without addition of any extra heating material we are reaching up to 70 72 degree temperature but still after 7 days the compost is not fully matured so what we had this is a novel technology we had adopted like uh, once you feed in the reactor after 7 days we are feeding into the vermi composting process where the earthworms is able to easily get degrade normally vermi composting is one of the very slow process it required 45 to 60 days but in this case earthworms required uh, for maximum 20 days even 15 days is enough for the earthworms to to produce one of the best quality of uh, vermi compost we can say is a vermi compost finally and uh, where the nitrogen percentage goes to 4.2% nitrogen so currently on in our campus we have the reactor is a 5 meter cube reactor where every day feeding is 300 kg where per day uh, the final produce produce is uh, 150 to 200 kg vermi compost one of the best quality vermi compost we are generating which we named as an our very popular assamese name as an matidhan uh, and this is very well accepted by the local farmers even the many vegetable uh, uh, generating people like flower gardening purposes many people are buying from us and uh, also we are helping the local farmers to produce uh, the by the local material some kind of good quality of product here so Uh, this is what the one novel idea i think we had uh, uh, generated in our campus and also helping the local people to apply that that uh, for the growing for the vegetable and uh, other uh, products from the farming area so the novel technology which i was talking about uh, the mix mix of two technologies like one way is a rotary dump which will uh, have the waste around 300 kg 500 kg of waste for 7 days and will generate in a 7 days it will generate the pre matured compost and that same waste if you provide for the vermi composting process so earthworm does not need that uh, they uh, the normally 15 to 20 days are required for their growth properly and get stabilized in the waste material so here in this condition after uh, the primary uh, matured compost it does not required any kind of uh the uh, the the earthworms are easily uh, uh, get, get into uh, there and growth also is possible so within 15 to 20 days they will be able to generate very good quality compost where nitrogen concentration is 4.2% which uh, is very surprising one of the best quality of vermi compost we are able to generate along with that other physical characteristics also is very good where water uh, the 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 how much water is required for the soil that also is getting reduced by after applying of this kind of vermi compost into the soil thank you